Hey, Popcorn Kid Crew. It's Miss V, and I'm here to read with you. Let's get started. Have you told yourself that you're the greatest? Let me hear you, because you know that's what we're getting ready to do. You are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Tell yourself that you are the greatest. Affirm yourself today. It's not hard. Just say, you know what? I am the greatest. And that's all you have to do. You guys, today we have another fun story. I don't think I'm ever going to, there's so many stories to share with you. But you're familiar with this one because a movie just came out called Aladdin. This is a much shorter version and it's similar to the one that you saw. Those of you that went out to see it. And we're going to share this story. Guess what? Because it is Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. You knew that already because of this hat, right? You ready to get into the story? Let's go. I hope everybody's having a good day. And you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We have met so many. We have so much fun on YouTube. There's something called live where you go on and you just have so much fun meeting people. It is fun. I don't think I've had this much fun in a long time. I hope you all are having fun too. You ready to get into the story? I am. All right, let's go. Can you see? Aladdin. Once upon a time, a boy named Aladdin lived with his mother. They were so poor that every day it was a struggle to find enough money and food. Oh boy, this is true. You know, Popcorn Kit, if you know someone who's struggling, please share. I share. I would love to share anything I have with anyone who is struggling for food or money. It's what's right to do. You're supposed to share. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what's going to happen. One day, a man came to their shack saying that he was Aladdin's long lost uncle. When he said that he would help Aladdin to make his fortune, Aladdin and his mother were delighted. Aladdin traveled with him into the desert until they came to a rock. The man pushed it aside, revealing a hidden cave. Oh, wow. Do you all know what's in the cave? Have you heard this story before? I think you have. This is what the man told Aladdin. You must climb down into this cave and fetch a lamp that you will find there, he said. And then bring it to me. Don't touch anything except the lamp. Wear this magic ring to protect you. Wow. Aladdin was afraid, but he dared not argue with his uncle. He put on the magic ring and climbed into the cave. He's brave, isn't he? As soon as he was through the entrance, his eyes grew wide with wonder. All around were piles of gold and jewels stretched from the floor to the ceiling. Jewels of gold. Oh my goodness, that must have been a sight. Wow, gemstones glittered in the dim light. Just one ruby would make Aladdin and his mother rich. But he did as he promised and not to touch anything. But at last, he found a dull brass lamp. Surely this can't be it, Aladdin thought. But he took it back to his uncle. When he got to the opening, he found that he couldn't climb out of the cave, holding up the lamp. He's 
holding it up. Pass it to me, his uncle said. Then I will help you out. Help me out first, uncle, Aladdin replied, and then I will give you the lamp. No, the man shouted. First, give me the lamp. Something fishy is going on here. What's going on? What's happening? We're going to read and find out. When Aladdin refused, the man became angry. He rolled the stone over the opening to the cave, trapping Aladdin in the dark. Oh my good! Well, that's not something an uncle would do to his nephew. Oh my gosh. Uncle, Aladdin shouted, let me out. Ha, the man shouted back. I'm not your uncle, you fool. Oh my God. I'm a sorcerer. You can stay there and die if you won't give me that lamp. Aladdin must have been so sad. I'm not even sure his mother knows where he is. Let's keep on reading. Aladdin wrung his hands in despair. As he did so, he rubbed the magic ring the sorcerer had given him for protection. Suddenly, a genie sprung out. Wow! I am the genie of the ring. What do you require, O oh master? The genie bowed. Aladdin was astonished, but he thought quickly. Please take me home to my mother, he said, and immediately he was outside his mother's house. He told her everything that had happened, and she hugged him with relief. She was happy to see her baby. Oh, but Aladdin, she cried, we are still poor. The next day, Aladdin looked at the lamp he had fetched from the cave. It doesn't look like much, he thought. And he started to polish it, hoping he could sell it and get money for food. As soon as he rubbed the lamp, another genie appeared. Wow. I am the genie of the lamp. What do you require, O oh Lord? The genie asked. This time, Aladdin knew what to do. He asked the genie to bring food and money so that he and his mother could live in comfort. Good idea. Life went on happily until one day, Aladdin saw the beautiful daughter of the emperor. Something's getting ready to change for him. He fell in love and felt that he couldn't live without her. But how could he marry a princess? Aladdin thought and thought and finally he had an idea. You guys, what's this idea? I know some of you know this story. What's the idea, you guys? He asked the genie for beautiful gifts to give the princess. When the princess spoke to Aladdin to thank him for the gifts, she fell in love with him. They were married and Aladdin asked the genie to build them a beautiful palace. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Hearing that a wealthy stranger had married the princess, the sorcerer guessed that Aladdin must have escaped from the cave with the lamp. One day when Aladdin was out, the sorcerer disguised himself as a poor tradesman. That sorcerer, he won't stop. Leave Aladdin alone. Right? Right, guys? He stood outside the palace calling out, New lamps for old. New lamps for old. 
Aladdin's wife remembered the ugly brass lamp that Aladdin had kept and took it to the man. The sorcerer snatched it from her, rubbed the lamp, and commanded the genie to carry the palace and princess far away to his own home in another country. Where is my beautiful wife? cried Aladdin. When he returned home, wringing his hands in despair, as he did so, he rubbed the ring and the first genie appeared. What do you require, master? The genie of the ring asked. Please bring back my wife and the palace, Aladdin pleaded. But the genie of the ring was less powerful than the genie of the lamp. Then take me to her so that I can win her back, Aladdin said. At once he found himself in a strange city, but outside his own palace. Through a window, he saw his wife crying and the sorcerer sleeping. Furious, Aladdin climbed in through a window and crept into the bedroom. He slipped the magic lamp from beneath the sorcerer's pillow and he rubbed it. What do you require, master? asked the genie. Take us right back home, Aladdin said, and shut this sorcerer in this cave for a thousand years. That will teach him a lesson. In a moment, the palace was back to where it belonged with the sorcerer gone. Aladdin and the princess were safe again. They lived long and happy lives together and never needed to call on the genie again. The end. What a beautiful story. And by the way, this is from A Treasury of Five Minute Stories. They're very good stories. Hey, you guys, did you enjoy that? How many of you saw Aladdin the movie? I love these little stories. I want you all to share, like, and subscribe. And I want you all to let me know if you like these stories. This has been a wonderful experience. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for sharing with Miss V. I love you all so much. I send you peace and love. Kiss. Thank you. I'm sorry, friend. I can't forget my friend. I'm giving you a hug because I can't hug you when I'm there. So I'll hug you while I'm here. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace and love. See you soon.